Hi there guys and girls, welcome back to Planet Coaster here on Geekism. My name is John T and today we are continuing with our coaster building tutorial. Uh, this is what we built last time. Actually, I've made some very slight changes to it so as we can uh, we can go through some of the features I want to show you today, but we're going to come back to that uh, in a moment to sort of use what we've learned in this video. Uh, today we're going to be looking at heat maps and G-forces. Uh, I'm sorry this has been a little bit of a while since the first one. I've struggled to think of a decent way of showing you this, but I think I've came up with something using these three absolute monstrosities here. <laughs> um, so here we're using one of the uh, launch coasters. I think it's the hydraulically launch coaster, but it doesn't really matter what coaster it is. I've used this one because it's pretty easy to build in a small space because there's no lift hill or anything like that. But basically G-forces in this game and are split into three categories. We have lateral Gs, we have vertical G's and we have forward G's. So first of all, quickly, uh, although you don't really need to know this, G-forces, uh, basically it's um, the power G is uh, for gravity and it's the power of gravity on us is one G. On, uh, on Earth, at the surface of the Earth, uh, the power of gravity, the, the strength of gravity is one G. I'm not going to go into massive detail because honestly, I don't know that much about it. I'm not a scientist, uh, but that's basically it, one G. Uh, roller coasters and, and other things, motor, you know, motor cars and, uh, and uh, skydiving and anything the way your body moves how it probably shouldn't naturally move uh, can create G forces of uh, more or less than one. And that's basically what roller coasters do to make you feel good and to make them exciting. They use, uh, they, they, they create situations where G-forces change. Uh, so, uh, the G-forces are lateral, vertical and forward. We'll do lateral first. Lateral force is basically left and right. In, in the context of a roller coaster, it's left and right. So, as you go around a corner uh, at some speed on a roller coaster, it feels like you're pulling, you're dragged to the edge of the corner and you're being pulled out of the corner almost. That is a lateral G-force. A vertical G-force, these are the the fun ones, I guess, in a roller coaster. Vertical Gs are up and down Gs, and uh, these are in loops, you feel them, uh, and also uh, what we call airtime hills or bunny hop hills, when you go over a hill and it feels like you're being pulled up out of the chair, that is a, uh, a positive vertical G. You can also have negative vertical Gs, that's where you get pushed into your chair, you feel like you're getting squished down, they usually happen on, uh, on some loops. Um, but really, positive uh, Gs are fun and nice feeling and make your stomach flutter and things like that. And then finally we have forward Gs. These are less uh, less common, uh, but they're basically uh, the front, forward and backwards, the way you're facing. So uh, specifically with these, where you get launched and you get pulled back into your chair and it makes your cheeks go back, that's a, uh, that's a forward G. And also, if you ever break sharply, that's a that's a negative a negative forward G, although or backward G. I'm not too sure uh, what the proper terminology is. But anyway, what I've done here is built a really simple, I mean, super simple coaster showing a bad version of each of these G-forces and showing you how to fix them. Because what you can do with a coaster is have a look at a heat map. We'll just quickly jump back over to this one for a minute and show you. If you go into the uh, the testing phase uh, and you've got live data here, you can see them going up and down as the coaster goes around. You can see the overall results and then here you've got an option called heat maps. Now first of all you can have a look at excitement, fear and nausea. Uh, excuse me, that's speed, nausea. There you go. We'll come back to those a little later. You've also got speeds there. And then finally, you've got the the, uh, the Gs we were just talking about. Lateral Gs, vertical Gs, and forward Gs. Now you'll notice this is very white, sitting in the middle for the most part, because it's a very simple coaster. It's quite smooth. And honestly, I don't want to say I'm big-headed, but we made it a bit too well to really show you uh, problems with it. I've changed it slightly, so there are a few issues that we're going to come and fix later on. But um, but that's basically how you can see them. So if you saw any really dark areas for any of those, you would know that you'd probably want to maybe change it slightly. So over here, let's uh, let's do the same again, but let's have a look at this one. So here are, we've got a nasty case of lateral Gs. You'll see here that the um, that the testing is com completed, and it's got a 2.8 excitement. It has a 9.6 fear, and it has a 7% uh, 7.08 nausea. And the problem on this one is uh, vertical G's are okay. Uh, forward G's have got a little bit here. That's the uh, that's the hydraulic push going on there. But if you look at the colour, you can probably compare that to somewhere here. It's it's actually it's quite nice. It's it's you know it's fun. It's pulling you back. But if we look at our lateral G's, oh wow, we have a huge problem here. And basically, what this is is that our curve is too tight. 
the coast is coming in with too much speed and it feels like you're gonna get thrown out over here and in fact in real life you very probably would get thrown out over here or well this ride just wouldn't exist in real life so you'll see there we've got a really really nasty uh, lateral G this one is quite a simple fix but this is probably the one that you'll see most often in in coasters that you build that you might have to fix so we're gonna go into uh, testing edit track sorry and what we're gonna do is take this here this whole corner, I mean obviously you'd never build it this extreme, but I was just kind of showing you the example. We're going to take this whole corner here and we're going to smooth it. And we're not we're not able to smooth it at all, I don't know why. <laughs> okay, well it's smooth, that's weird. We should be able to smooth. Okay, well we'll, no, we'll have to do it by hand. So basically what you would normally do is you would smooth that out. But instead what we actually want to look like is uh, more like this. There we go. So basically, you want a nice, uh, smooth curve as you're coming round. And hopefully we can smooth that off a little bit more. We can actually take all this and smooth it a little. There we go. Okay, so now we'll run that test again and see if the numbers are any better. They won't be awesome still because it's, you know, it's a rubbish coaster. But, and, uh, but there you go. Looks already the fear has gone down from... 9 points, whatever it was, down to 3. Uh, the excitement's gone up a little bit. That's actually crazy. You could open this coaster and it would make you money in the game, which is a bit ridiculous. Uh, but the next thing you can do as well, is just to help a little bit more, is banking. I know this is something we spoke about last time. But here, if we get this area here and, uh, and bank it inwards, and then take the areas before it and just smooth that banking out a little, and after it there, and smooth that banking out a little, You'll find now that those numbers get even better. Let's quickly run it. Speed it up. Look at that awesome coaster. <laughs> uh, but now you see the numbers. It won't be much of a difference this time, but there again, the fear has gone down ever so slightly more, and the nausea is much more manageable now. So there you go, vertical Gs. Make sure you've got all your curves are nice and as wide as they can be. I mean, obviously, you can do tight turns. Um, make sure they're never jarringly tight. And, uh, and you've used banking to the best of your ability. If you need more information on banking and smoothing, check the other coaster uh, tutorial video we've got on the channel. So that's lateral Gs. Let's move on to vertical Gs. So vertical Gs, very similar sort of problem, but it's up and down as opposed to left and right. You'll see here, let's come out of this one and go into it. And we'll look at the heat map. Where are you? Heat maps. And we'll look at vertical. You'll see here we've got the same issue, really tight corners here as they're going up and that would just well it'd break your neck probably <laughs> I mean you'd really get thrown into your chair and thrown out of your chair and it would just it'd just be not a fun experience you'd probably crack some ribs it's just not good so here we want to get these out you've got see this little lighter bit here we're just coming down into the neck that's good that's that sort of woo feeling as you go over a hill and it feels like you're coming out of your chair a little that's great that's what coasters that's the bread and butter of coasters but this uh, here is just really not good. The solution again is just to have nice smooth transitions from one part of the coaster to the other. So we'll see if we can smooth it out. Um, again, I'm not. We might not be able to. There we go. So again, I mean, obviously smoothing this will make the drop a lot less, and this will still probably be pretty extreme because it's going straight into it. Uh, oh, I'll tell you what, we didn't do. We didn't. Uh, we didn't actually look at the numbers before we went through with that, did we? So let's just. Uh, Let's just go, that looks about right. Yeah, let's go back to where we were. We're going to have to do a quick test on it. Run it round. So this one amazingly actually isn't that bad. It's, I, can't, I can't believe it. But this isn't actually that bad. You've got 5.8 uh, on the excitement 5.7. You've got fear is 3.6 and your nausea is 2.3. So let's have a look what we do when we smooth it. I can't believe how good those numbers are really considering. But let's uh, let's take this here and we'll, uh, and we'll smooth all this out. Uh, we've gone too far with that. Yeah, we have. We don't want that piece. Just those ones there. Okay, and you might find that those numbers aren't much better. But there you go. The nausea's come down a little. Uh, fear's come down a little. The problem is here is that you would never have a, a, a bunny hop here right next to that. But if you look at the uh, the map now for vertical, you see those a lot lighter. A lot lighter now. Not, but nowhere near as bad as they were. And to be honest with you, if you... you Personally, like I say, you just you just we you just wouldn't have you wouldn't have this coaster like this in the in the first place really something more like that even that you wouldn't have it but you can see how the how the uh, the vertical G's are going away there okay great 
And finally, we have... Where's the sign? Forward Gs. So again, forward Gs are usually happen with hydraulics and also brakes, basically. This is where there's a big change in speed. Uh, you're going to be getting a positive or negative forward Gs. Now, I'm going to have to start this one going because actually the way I've built it, it, it breaks, <laughs> basically. You can't keep this one running, so we'll have to start the test again. Um, how do we do... There we go, let's close it and open it, there we go. So here we have a longer hydraulic, it comes straight in and then backs in again. So our big problem here, this one's a real issue, look, fear and nausea are massive. You see it sort of rolls out the station, so you have to run it one at a time. But if we look at the heat map for the forward Gs, it actually goes faster than it can register, I think, is why we have the gaps. But you'll see here we've got quite a lot of uh, positive forward Gs, and again, two, that's fine, that's, 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 uh, you know, the, the bread and butter of a hydraulic coaster, you'd like that really feeling fast, but the main problem here we have is this crazy minus 6G, that, that'll kill you, that squishy face up into little tiny chunks. Uh, the problem is it's just breaking far too quickly, so the fix here, um, well, there isn't really a fix, I mean, the brake, I think, is, I ragged it up really high. There we go, so your target speed, 20, deceleration rate a lot less, we'll see if that makes any difference. We're going to have to stop and start. And uh, I think it's not much better now, so this time what we'll do is we'll just get rid of that for a minute. Again, I'm not actually making the coaster any better here, I'm just showing you how to get rid of these sort of positive and negative uh, G-forces when they're a bit extreme. And we'll join that up, there we go. So there we go, we took some of the speed out and the brakes should be a bit better. There you go. Fear and nausea have instantly gone straight down. So there you go. That's one of your big problems, really, is braking f too quickly as you're coming back into a station. Uh, it will create really na nasty negative forward Gs. And, uh, and there you go. So there's simple fixes for G-forces. Hopefully you can take those extreme examples and apply them to your coaster. Uh, and then obviously on all of these as well, your heat maps, uh, you can see your, uh, your excitement. Uh, I mean, obviously, they're no good. So let's go and have a look at the proper coaster and we'll show you. Excitement, fear, and nausea. And you might be able to pick up key elements, but you'll usually find that it'll be one of your G-forces is either a little too high or a little too low, and they need tweaking. So let's just slow the time down a little on this. There we go. So this coaster, the uh, we built this on the last one. The changes I've made are I've built this section myself. Um, we used a, a custom piece last time, uh, one of the one of the sort of tag on bits last time, but I've actually rebuilt it myself so we can tweak it a little bit more and uh, I've made a nasty kink here and this end section's a little bit off as well, so we're going to go over and see if we can find uh, some problems with this coaster, so uh, at the moment we've got 5.8 excitement, 3.9 fear and nausea of 1.36 so ho ideally we'd like to get the nausea down a little We'd like to get maybe the fear down a little and try and keep the excitement as high as you can, even maybe push that a little higher, because what you will find is as the fear and nausea get higher, the excitement comes down, even if the, the ride itself is exciting, um, fear and nausea overtake and it drags that down. So first of all, we can see there's a big problem here with this kink. Let's see if we can uh, find what it'll be. As it's coming up a little bit too much, you'll probably find that that's a vertical G. And there you go, you can see 5.5. Numbers-wise with G-forces, you don't really want to go over 3 or 4 is pretty good for, for an event. So here, look, we've got 3.5 coming into there. That's fine. That, that's, you know, that's, that feel like a really cool, strong loop. Here we've got some little bits, um, but you wouldn't want these sort of numbers just ar right around the track. You want these to be sort of moments of the ride, and you never really want to go over 5. Um, there are some rides that will go up to 5, but it'll be very fleeting moment and it'll be it can be considered a really sort of thrill ride that will if it goes up to 5G. Most roller coasters sort of sit around the 3, 4Gs as a, as a sort of end game really. So here we've got that 5.5G 5 .5, uh, 5 is huge and it's going to be really jarring, neck breaking almost, and that's a, uh, a vertical issue. So if we'll just turn that off so we can see what we're doing. And we all we have to do here, basically, is take that piece and that piece and smooth it out. Just so it's a nicer transition for that ride. So we'll just let it go round so it can uh, redo the uh, redo the scores. Uh, oh, it's that one, isn't it? Sorry, speed up. I was pressing 0 instead of O. Another one round. There we go, so the nausea has come down a bit, uh, fear slightly, and the excitement stayed about the same, but we've got rid of that nausea down, and that nausea will have been caused by the vertical G. We look back in there now, 
Um, we've got a much nicer, smoother line there. Um, the only other problems, I think, really, I don't think we have any. Like I say, it was relatively straightforward. Forward G is not a problem at all. It keeps a relatively constant speed, and all the speed changes are nice and smooth. Uh, it loses a bit of speed on the on the sort of interiors as it should. So forward G is no problem for this. Lateral G, uh, there's a little kink here. Look, there we go. 2.8 G. It's probably a little high, really, and also here as well. So let's try and smooth those out a little. Lateral G, if you remember rightly, that's going left and right. So most likely what that will be there is that the banking is a little uh, a little jarring. So we'll, um, we'll just stop that for a minute. So we've got 3.9, 1.6. So we'll turn those off a second, and you'll see that there, yeah, it's just there. It's just a little, little jarring. So we'll just take that, and we'll just smooth the banking a little, uh, make it a little bit more comfortable. And we'll, do you know what, we could probably, although it wasn't much of an issue, we'll probably do the same on that as well. If we can, just a shy bit. And then the other problem was here as it comes into this area, I think, is the problem. So we'll just uh, take that section there, smooth the banking out a little, and we'll smooth the whole thing out a little as well. It's not doing much because, unfortunately, this is a pre-built bit. So that may be the problem. In fact, um, what you could probably do there is get rid of that piece completely and rebuild it yourself because it's just that, that intersection there is getting a little, uh, a little bit of an issue. Uh, but I won't do that now because it's not a major problem. But yeah, sometimes the problem with using the set pieces like these here is that they um, they have a set in and out point that can't really be changed and you end up with slightly jarring problems like that. But let's see if that's made a difference over here. Uh, we'll quickly run a test. So we've got it up the uh, chain lift speed there. It's not too bad. You can We can always change that as well by using this number here. Perhaps we probably will. Just knock it up, why not? And that helps with excitement and uh, and things as well, to be honest comes down it'll come into the ride with a bit more speed now so you might find that that's actually pushed the hit the fear up a little too much but we'll uh, we'll have a look there we go finished and uh well, i can't remember what the numbers were before to be honest but the excitement's gone up so i'm happy with that let's have a look uh four's not too bad for fear you want it somewhere around between four and six nausea obviously as low as possible and excitement's obviously as high as possible 6.2 why is he jumping between six and five is one of them stalling Let's have a look. No, nope, I think it's okay. Sometimes your problem, your problem is you get one of them sitting on block brakes and that really drags the ratings down, so watch out for that as well. Uh, so let's have a look. Lateral G's all look okay now. There you go, that's that's just knocks it down a little. Um enough. I mean obviously there's a there's G forces there because you turn in, but it's they're good numbers. It's they're, they're fine. That's a that'll be an interesting part of the ride. There we go. I, I, like I said before, I'm no expert with this sort of stuff and I've had to even do a little bit of research on G forces to to give you this topic today, but it's something I've not really seen much of and I've had loads of people ask me and I, rather than just sort of say I can't help you. I've tried my best to sort of uh brush up a little bit on my GCSE physics which is the last time I had to do anything like this <laughs> and uh, hopefully it's stuff you can take away and, and add to your own coasters um, thanks very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed it if you have please give us a like it really does help out the channel and if you're not already please subscribe but there's a big chance that you found this video searching for tutorials but we actually do loads of planet coaster stuff here we have let's plays let's builds uh, all sorts so it'd be really great for you to stick around so please subscribe if you haven't already uh, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one